Hi, it's Michael from the Mathematics Workshop and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to find the domain and range of this parabola. And the domain is the set of x values that belong to the graph and the range is the set of y values that belong to the graph. And the easiest way to find the domain is look for the lowest x value on the graph which is this value of minus 2 and if I mark that in on the x-axis here, roughly there, then this minus 2 corresponds to that point there or if you like I could do that to show that I've gone directly down to the x-axis and marked in the x value at that point. And if I do the same thing at this end point, the x value is 4 and I mark, do this, a similar thing down to the x-axis and mark in, that's where the value 4 is. Now if I pick any point on the graph and do a similar thing, the x value, whatever it is there, is somewhere between minus 2 and 4. And it doesn't matter where I pick a point on the curve, the same thing's going to happen. Here, that x value is going to be somewhere between 4 and minus 2. And anywhere I pick a point on that curve, the x value is going to be between minus 2 and 4. And so that is what the domain is, from minus 2 to 4, and because this is an open circle, that means you're not including minus 2. So you have a round bracket. And because this 4 is included, you have a square bracket. So the set of x values that belong to the graph are from minus 2 non-inclusive to 4 inclusive. To find the range, you can do a similar thing. Start by looking for the lowest y value, which is this, or at this turning point here. And if I mark that in here, and that is minus one and a half. That's the y coordinate in that set of coordinates. And going up to the highest point on the graph, which is this one here, the y value there is three. And if I mark that in by going across here, then I can pick any point on the curve. And no matter where I pick that point, the y value, for example, on this one going across to the curve, is going to, to that y axis, I mean, is going to be somewhere between minus one and a half and three. So that means all the y values on the graph are between minus one and a half and three. So putting the lowest value first, minus one and a half, up to the highest value. Now this time, the lowest value, minus one and a half, is included because that turning point does not have an open circle like this point here. So that means it is included. And I've only put that point there to show that that's where the turning point is. So it's not actually a colored in circle other than to show that it is the turning point. So that means that because it's included, you have a square bracket here, and this value up here when y equals three, that's got a colored circle. So that means that that's included as well. And so the range is the set of y values from minus one and a half to three inclusive. And that's how you find the domain and range of a parabola.